Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I am so excited to do, we're gonna be trying all the new makeup. The, all of it. All the new makeup releases we are going to be trying in this video. We have a lot to get through. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome to this video. So, in this trying new makeup, we're trying out some new products from NARS. They recently came out with their light reflecting foundation. Also, a setting powder that I'm gonna be trying out. I have the new Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection, finally. Finally. So I'm going to be using the eyeshadow palette and the face palette that released in that collection. I have some new products from the e.l.f. Cookies and Dream collection that came out. Some new lip products from Kaja. I have the new face powder from Colourpop under their Pretty Fresh line. The new Rare Beauty cream bronzer. We got it all. We got it all in this video. Let's let's get zoomed in. Come closer. I just showered. It's, I, I, I don't smell bad. Welcome. I feel like this is a good... This is a good look for me. Welcome. So I've taken um, a little bit of time off. I took a little bit of a break in January from um, like YouTube, filming, editing, uploading, all of that. And I feel like i am uh, got to get back into my groove when it comes to filming here. But I had so many packages that come in while I was away. A few of the products I have already played with. Some are going to be brand new to me, including the primer that we are starting out with. I'll link everything in my description box down below, of course. Um, but for my primer, I'm going to start with this one from e.l.f. This is in their Cookies and Dreams collection, and it is their Putty Primer. So this one retails for $9. It's available now. This one uh, is infused with a squalene, which I really like as an ingredient, and it definitely has that cookies and cream smell, which I... <laughs> If you're new here, hi, my name is Samantha. Uh, I upload a lot of videos, usually consistently, not so much in January because I took a little break after Vlogmas and I have a few things rolling for my next book and then also um, I'll have an announcement for my brand coming up here shortly. So I've been working on a few other things, but normally I upload pretty consistently, so I'd love if you subscribe and all the things. But also I love ice cream. And do I have a pint of cookies and cream ice cream from Baskin Robbins in my freezer right now. I'll let you figure that one out for yourselves. So I'm just going to just dip my finger in a little bit like that. Oh, I also got my nails done this morning. I really like how they came out. Oh, I'm not so pretty. I feel very YouTuber-esque today because I typically light a candle almost every morning or afternoon and I usually just have it in my kitchen. But then I was like, why? Well, I should put it in my background because I feel like that makes me a real youtuber right so i really enjoy the elf poreless putty primer it's one of my favorites i like the one that i have is you can see the bottom it's you know scraped through this one off the bat obviously this is the first time i'm trying it because you saw the fresh product there this one feels a lot more lightweight than the original putty primer like it feels very kind of like almost like silky feels a little bit more silky where the other one has just a little bit more of a thicker consistency I would say mm, let me get you close the other one I think is really good at blurring this one I don't know if I notice a blurring effect as much as the regular it definitely makes me want to go get my ice cream out of my freezer and we'll see how it how it works with all of my products I'm, I'm gonna try it with a foundation that I've tried a couple times now um, normally I wouldn't mix so many products together, but with this being a trying to make a video, that's kind of the point of it. Um, but I'm excited to try it with some more foundations and some of my foundations that I love and I really know how they work to see how the primer works with them. I do always come back to review everything that I try in trying to make up videos, ranking videos. Um, I always review my hauls. I love reviewing makeup. That's the thing that I love to do the most on my channel is to actually talk about the makeup that I've tried versus like tutorials, that sort of thing. It's not what I'm great at, but you know, we're just sitting down, getting getting ready together. I'm not getting ready for anything. I'm going to film another video after this and then I'm going to just sit at my desk and work, but that's fine. That's great. I love that. You know, those are fun days. So also from the cookies and dreams collection, I'm going to try this sponge. And if you know me, you know I love sponges. So this is their single scoop of face sponge from e.l.f. I believe this one retails for $5. My nails are always so sharp the day I get them done. I just really got through that packaging 
no problem at all. So here's what the sponge looks like, it's a little marble sponge here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this wet and then I'm going to use the, the new NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. So you can see that the sponge got bigger as I used it. Like I said, I'm gonna try this new product here from NARS, their new foundation, and this is the Light Reflecting Foundation. I used the shade Santa Fe, which is medium two. So this one retails for $49. It does say to shake well, it is pretty liquidy. It says it's an advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation with a natural finish that quickly blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time. So I have used this. I also have a demo with this and the powder that I'll be using in this video. I have another demo on my Instagram. I did also recently pick up, um, I did receive the NARS in PR as well as the e.l.f. I did buy the new Charlotte Tilbury Foundation, the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have a full um, demo video here on YouTube and I am going to be doing a beauty battle between the two. I think I'm pretty, I'm, I think I'm almost ready to film it. I'm hoping to film it like probably tomorrow maybe. I'll tell you though, I haven't decided on a winner yet. I don't know and I like them both. Like in, I, I, in a good way, I can't decide on the winner. I really like them both. So I did about like two and a half pumps there. Like I said, it's a pretty liquidy foundation. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this in. Ooh, sponge is nice. I'm gonna zoom you in just a little bit more so you can see. So to me, the foundation is very lightweight, which I like. Doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup, doesn't look too heavy. Like I said, it has that more liquidy consistency. And to me, it's it's more on the natural side, but it also gives a nice glow, which I appreciate. So I do have more dry skin. It's a little bit more combo, but I tend to lean a little bit more on the dry side. And then I'm also 34, so not the most youthful, not the most mature skin. I do struggle, not as much these days, but I did really struggle with hormonal acne and I still have a lot of, you know, scarring and redness from when I was in the depths of my <laughs> acne struggle. So I'm gonna do like another pump and a half and just add a little bit more so you can see that it builds up nicely. So kind of depending on what it is you're going for, if you want something a little bit more like light to medium, you can definitely do that with this foundation. Or if you want something a little bit more medium, medium buildable, you can add a little bit more product, but I find it really easy to blend. I really, I like, I think that it covers well for being such a lightweight, foundation like it really because i have quite a bit of redness especially on this side and i have a breakout right here like i think that it covers nicely it doesn't do anything strange like sometimes i have foundation like builds up weirdly by like by my eyebrows and a little bit by like my nose i don't notice anything with that usually i notice that if it's a more like thicker heavier type of foundation but this one i have been really impressed with the wear time has been impressing me i've probably worn this one i'm gonna say three four times now maybe even five times um, that I have worn this foundation and I have been very impressed with it. But I think it gives a really beautiful natural finish with a hint of glow. Like if you have more oily skin, I don't think that this one is going to be too much for you. The Charlotte is a little bit on the dewier side too. That one might be too much for oily skin. I haven't seen a lot of reviews yet for the for oily skin um, since you know I've taken a little bit of time off, so I'm a bit behind on my videos. But I think the one from NARS has been looking super beautiful. I've tried it with my Dior powder and I've really liked it. I've tried it with my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I've really liked it. I will say when I did use the setting powder from NARS, I didn't love it as much, but I was also using a lighter shade. I was using like light 4.5 and I think that this one is a great shade match. If we are really close in shade, once again, it's M2 Santa Fe. This one I think is a really, really good shape match. Uh, I don't have a new concealer. That's about one of the only things that I don't have. I'm planning to grab the, I mentioned it in last week's live chat where I did the new makeup releases, the new Kat Von D Good Apple. I'm just gonna use a little bit of my Lancome Tint Idol concealer. And I really think that the foundation did a good job. So I'm not gonna spot conceal anywhere. I'm just gonna use a little bit of concealer on my under eyes. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury powder to my under eyes to set the concealer. I am not firing on all cylinders today. 
uh, this morning I got my nails done and I had like an inspo pick to show the nail tech and at one point like she was looking at it and then my phone like you know the it what am I trying to when I tell you I'm not running on all cylinders I'm not kidding my phone like went dark or whatever so she like gestured for me to turn it back on I couldn't think of my password <laughs> the thing I enter 75 times a day minimum on my phone I sat and I looked at my phone I was like and then I tried three different combinations and none of it was it and I was like oh I this is so embarrassing and the lady's just staring at me and I just total blank moment could not think of my phone password to save my life it's been a little bit of a crazy time I got back on Wednesday from my trip Wednesday night and then I still had my family here until uh, Sunday morning my mom and my aunt left they came out here to you know watch my apartment watch my dog all of that and then I had friends fly in Thursday night and then they didn't leave until Sunday night they took the red eye back so I didn't take them to the airport until like 10 30 so even right when I got back I was with family then I was with friends and you know I'm like I did some fun things with my friends like we went hiking and I took them down to Fremont Street and uh, we went to a comedy show, which was super fun, um, but it just, I haven't had like a moment yet since getting back from my trip to be like, <sighs> been like, go, 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 especially with so many things with like the business and all. I'm just now doing my laundry from my trip. ColourPop powder, I'm very curious about this and this will be a first impression for me. This came while I was gone. So under ColourPop, they're pretty fresh line. This is their pressed face powder. It says a creamy pressed powder for an effortless skin-like natural finish. It's a multitasking face powder to easily blend in a skin with light, buildable coverage, perfect for wearing alone to set makeup or touch-ups throughout the day. It says for light coverage, use a fluffy brush. For more coverage, use the pressed powder puff. I grabbed out light seven and light eight. Mm, maybe I'm gonna use light seven. This retails for $14 on the ColourPop website. As of the time that I'm looking at it, it says it's on sale for $9.80. So I don't know if ColourPop's running another sale. I'm not sure what they're doing, but this one is on sale. I'm filming this on Monday. This is gonna go up on Tuesday. Yeah, let me try light seven. So this is the puff that it comes with. So I'm gonna try the puff first just to, you know, just to, just to give it a shot. I feel like pressed, like these um, like powder puffs are like having a comeback. They're having a moment. <laughs> I feel like they're in a lot of products right now and I'm like, okay, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. So I'm just gonna go ahead. That looks like a good shade mesh off the bat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press this in. Now I'm someone who never used to be into pressed powders all that much. That's a lie. Many moons ago when I was in college and then my years after college and my first like year, maybe year or two of YouTube, I really loved the Pure 4-in-1 pressed powder. I wore that all the time. I went through so many of those. If anyone remembers my time with that pressed powder, I don't know, do something cool. What am I supposed to say as a good YouTuber? Like this video. <laughs> like this video. I have the powder. Let me just add a little here. I have the powder on the lower part of my face. Not my forehead yet. So you can see my forehead's a little bit more shiny than my face right here. But I'm kind of impressed with that. Maybe a little bit drying though, because you see on my nose, like once I started to add the powder, I feel like, let me just like get you the shot up my nose. Like see, me being a good YouTuber. Let me show you up my nose. So a little bit, you know, dry right through here but it looks very smoothing. Oh, okay. I'm not mad at this moment. So let me go ahead and do my forehead. I never really used to be into the press powders, but when the Dior powder, no powder came out, we instantly connected, hit it off. It's fantastic. I've gone through multiples of the Dior powder. I just really haven't found one that I like more than the, than the Dior. Elf also came out with a new powder. I also want to pick that one. I have, <laughs> I have a grocery list, I have an Amazon list, and I have a Sephora slash Alta list. Got a lot of shopping lists going on. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get the grocery one knocked out today because I do need some groceries even though my mom made me a few things to freeze so I could make it down the road. But I'm gonna add a little bit to my neck too just to you know, have everything be uniform and, and even. But I'm like, if I could find especially an affordable powder that I like as much or almost as much as the Dior, or could you imagine more than the Dior? That would be pretty exciting. So I really wanna grab the e.l.f. 
uh, powder foundation so I can do a beauty battle between those two also. That's a series that I do on my channel where I take two similar products to each other, um, similar price range and all of that. And typically I like both of the products, but I'm trying to tell you, like if you could only choose one, which one I would recommend. Uh, so I wanna do that with the foundations and then also the powders. But I have to say, I think that this one looks, the, this one looks really nice. Only con that I would give it right now is I would say, it definitely made me more matte. I feel like it kind of brought out some of the dry patches, like I said. And it almost looks a little bit heavier. If I look at myself real close, I almost feel like it looks like I'm wearing a lot of makeup now. Like I feel like with the NARS foundation, it looks very natural. This to me is like, girl, you just, you know, you put some powder on your face. But not, but not bad. And I'm curious to see how the wear time is going to be on this one. I didn't mind the puff. I'm also going to try it with a fluffy brush. Um, you know for the lighter coverage and see what I think of it, but I like the compact like I said this retails for $14 I used a shade light seven Not mad not mad. I'm gonna do my brows off camera Okay, brows are done. I'm just gonna spray my face with the elf stay all day blue light micro setting mist I've tried this a handful of times. I had it in a Trying new makeup video and then I've just been you know testing it out so I can review it But since I laid down the powder just gonna go ahead and add that. I'll do a little bit more towards the end too. I think I actually want to start to focus on my eyes and then we'll come back for the face. So, like I mentioned, I did purchase from Pat McGrath and Bridgerton. I got the eyeshadow palette, the diamond of the first water, and then also the face palette, the Divine Blush and Glow Trio Love at First Blush. So I'm gonna be using both of these. So I'm gonna jump into the eyeshadow palette first. I do also have another look with this on my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word. So if you're not following me over there, I do a lot of different demos. So this is the eyeshadow palette with the six different shades in here. I ordered this <laughs> within the first 10 minutes of it launching from the Pat McGrath website. And it didn't arrive until like, which was, what was it, December 25th that it released. And I got it January 18th, I believe it was. And I was still on my trip. So as soon as I got back, I did the first look with it. So the first look that I did, I just used these two shades right here, which are Duchess, no, uh, Plum, wait, who, what did I use? Plum Regalia and Duchess Divinity. I believe are those two and I've gotten a ton of requests to use the blue kind of like the outlier shade in here so that is what I am going to attempt to do today well I like I have an idea in my mind I just am not sure if I'm going to be able to, to to make it work but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot I'm not a makeup artist and I typically tend to go towards more Neutral looks are just using like one or, or like two or three shades in a look, but I want to try to challenge myself a little bit today and then use that blue because I do think that it's really pretty, but I love Bridgerton. I was such a huge fan of the show. I really like the Pat McGrath brand. I haven't always been a huge fan of her eyeshadows though. They haven't, I don't think they're bad, but they've never necessarily blown me away. But when I saw this, like I love the packaging on it. I love the inside, how it says flawless, my dear. Just, I knew that I had to pick this up. <sighs> Let me grab a brush and then tell you a really sad story. So I'm first going to grab from Delium Tools their blending brush. This is the 785 it's Tapered Blending. And I'm first going to pick up this shade right here, Love Match. And I'm just going to blend that uh, higher high into my crease. So like I mentioned, I did a look that's on my Instagram. And I used that more red shade. And that night I had a really bad reaction in my right eye. I it, I kept saying, it was a little bit after I had gotten finished with my makeup, but I was at my apartment with my mom and my aunt and I kept saying, I think something's in my eye, I think something's in my eye. And I kept going to the bathroom and I was like pulling on it and I just got a lash lift in tint. And you know, sometimes I feel like really paranoid whenever I touch my eyes, I feel like all of my eyelashes are gonna fall out. Like even though it's fine, you can touch your eyes and take your makeup off and rub your eyes after 24 hours of getting the lash lift in tint, but it's something like still makes me nervous. And I kept thinking, I was like, I must have rubbed my eyes and now I have all this like product in my eye and I just couldn't find anything. And then as the night progressed, that was the night I went to the comedy show with my friends. As the night progressed, it kept getting worse and I remember turning to my girlfriend and I was like, it feels like my eyeball is going, is like trying to turn inside out. That's how it felt. 
and it was just so painful my eyes were red and swollen and watery after a couple hours it started to move a little bit into my left eye too um so it wasn't just like something had fallen into my right eye and i have had reactions to eyeshadows in the past especially like red or purple shadows um not every single one but there's been um there's been products from elf there's been products from natasha denona one of her palettes did it to me so i've never figured out exactly what ingredient it is that is causing it but uh, it's a bummer when it happens, especially when you're out and about and can't take your makeup off and you're like, oh shoot, this is, um, this is interesting. I'm assuming it was the palette. I'm assuming it wasn't anything else. I wasn't trying like a new mascara. Like mascaras cause me eye reactions too. Um, I just have more sensitive eyes, which is also part of the reason. It's something that I feel like has gotten worse over time too. So it's why I don't do a ton of intricate looks anymore. A lot of liner, false lashes because my eyes have just gotten more and more sensitive as the years have gone on, which is a bummer, but you know, is what it is. I'm thinking it was probably this palette, but I want to, you know, obviously try it out a few more times. And it's not that it makes the palette bad, because I actually really, really loved the first look that I did, and I thought it was super easy. Just those two shades, I was like, wow, I, I wasn't expecting to get such a pretty look. Um, but I was very impressed. So I'm definitely gonna be super bummed if it's the palette. Like I said, it was this shade that I'm thinking is the culprit. I do want to try this shade today also and just kind of see. Um, and hopefully we don't have any reactions. If maybe I just can't use the one, okay. If I can't use two, that's going to be quite a bummer. Um, maybe it wasn't this shade. Maybe it was this shade. So I'm going to use this shade on a different date if I don't, you know, depending on what happens with my eyes today. Um, you can always check my Instagram stories too. I share a lot in my stories throughout the day and it's just kind of a place where I can quickly and easily give updates. So uh, if I have anything happening by the end of the night, I'll probably put that on my Instagram stories also. So just wanted to mention that though. I obviously want to try the palette a few more times and, and see what happens. I'm going to grab a smaller blending brush. This one is from Real Techniques, the Essential Crease Brush. And I am going to pick up a little bit more of that pinky shade right here. I love the bees on here. I'm going to add a little bit on the outer part of my eye and just kind of blend these together here. So this has a little bit more. The first one was more matte. This one has a little bit more of that satiny sheen. I wanted to use more of a blending brush and blend those two together and kind of bring this one out a little bit also. I'm kind of extending it farther than I normally would too. I'm just trying to do something a little bit not my norm i have on my list of goals i have to do one outside of my comfort zone makeup look a month and i have not done it yet but i also was gone for 10 days where i really didn't wear any makeup for the majority of that time so you know trying to get back into the swing of things here so i don't know we'll see how the final look turns out and if i can decide that i'm going to classify it as out of my comfort zone but i also i was going to do lashes but I also, I don't want to do lashes just in case I do have a reaction. I could blame the lashes, the lash adhesive, because like I said, there are times where I have reactions to those too. So I want to just test the palette on its own and see, see what happens. So we'll see if I can, you can help me decide if you think it's an out of my comfort zone look or if as we go along, you're like, nah, Sam, you would do that anyways, girl. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I still have a week to create that look. I have another sad story to tell you today too. I'm sorry, I just, I'm like the bearer of bad news today. But I have to give y'all another update on my shipping woes. I really like that pinky shade though. I think that's really pretty, the way those two blended together. I don't think I did the absolute best job blending that first matte shade, but I'm not gonna panic yet because we're still like going through the motions, you know? I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm gonna start with this one. And I have the Sigma Short Shader, the E20, and I'm gonna add this on the inner part of my lid and then I want to top it with that blue shade but I'm going to first lay this one down and kind of bring it this is something that I used to do quite a bit I would bring a little bit of the shimmer shadow like kind of into the crease like this my Beautylish Lucky Bag is MIA uh, it was supposed to get here Saturday then it said it would get it here Sunday then it said it was going to get here Monday, which is today, but it has not updated at all since Saturday. It arrived in a place called Tracy, California. Anyone familiar with Tracy? Tracy? 
factory. It arrived there on Saturday and since then nothing has happened. Hasn't left, hasn't moved, hasn't uh, done anything. So as of right now, I enjoy that it's still telling me that it's coming today, but um, hasn't moved, hasn't left Tracy. So I'm very curious as to when they think this lucky bag is getting to me because I was planning to film that video and have it go up. Well, I was, I thought it was going to be here Sunday and I was going to film it Sunday and have it up Sunday, but it never came. And then today uh, I was planning to film with it ASAP and get it up, but it is still not here. I mean, even if it arrives tonight, I can still film and edit it and get it up for Tuesday. So if that happens, this video might be going up later, but this as of right now, this is going to be my Tuesday video because I don't really have hopes that it's actually being delivered to me unless for some reason just the tracking hasn't updated. I saw some people in my Facebook group get their boxes in today. So I was really hoping it would come, but uh, I don't know. It's so sad. It, like, it literally was like, it's coming from Southern California to Las Vegas. And I'm like, I'm going to be one of the last ones to get it. So that's a bummer. Because, you know, of course, it's one of those things. Like I was like, I'm going to be such a good YouTuber and I'm going to get it up fast because I'm not fast at videos. I mean, I'm just doing, a, I mean, it's not my fault that the, the, shipping was so late on the Bridgerton and then I was like on my trip and everything but like I, I don't get videos up fast and I know that's a good way to grow and get views and make people happy and everything I'm just not good at it so I was like I'm gonna have that video up so fast now I'm... I hope it comes to me I don't know but you know what was weird about Beautylish was that it wouldn't let me put in my full address and I had a panic moment because I was like I wonder if that's what happened but on the Beautylish website I have a fairly long address like there's a lot of characters in it and it wouldn't let me put but like it was like you've exceeded the amount of characters and I was like but that's my address so I'm wondering if something happened there like you think it would happen when it would get to Las Vegas and they'd be like wait I don't know where this is going and not California I'm gonna use the smell brush from Alamar Cosmetics uh it doesn't say anything on it okay it's a little green brush from Alamar Cosmetics and then I'm going to pick up that blue shade. Ooh, that looks pretty. And I'm going to start to run this kind of like on the top. Actually, I really don't know what I'm doing at this moment. I'm just kind of winging it, I guess. But I just wanted to add a little bit of that blue. Hmm, okay, all right. I wasn't planning to like take it too far, but I'm just gonna kind of bring it all the way through my crease, like so. I don't know if I'm loving this technique. See, this is also something that happens sometimes when I do things that are like not quite my norm. I just don't like them. <laughs> like, I don't know how to, like when people are like, oh, your looks are boring or I wish you would switch it up. I'm like, yeah, but I also want to like my makeup. <laughs> like, I don't know. I want to like it too. And sometimes I just feel like when I actually like try to do different things, I just end up not really loving it. I don't know if I like really see my vision here yet, but going because sometimes I also don't like things until the end. So I'm just going to keep adding this blue. Okay. I think I'm going to add more blue like right towards the inner corner and kind of layer it on top of that first shimmer. I'm going to add a little bit on that inner corner and maybe almost kind of make it look like it's fading out. This is nothing against the palette. I like it. Like in the quality of it, it's just me and my own skills. I have a hard time visualizing, so sometimes that makes doing makeup harder for me too, which also is why a lot of times I stick with like the same things because I don't have a, a very visual mind. A creative mind, I just don't have a very visual mind. So we have it kind of like fading. You can still see some of that champagne there, but then like the pink. Then we have a little bit of this blue in here. Okay. I like the shades, I just don't know if I like I'm just kind of like meh right now, which is fine. I'm gonna take my blending brush and just do like a little bit of blending over here. My dryer keeps like stopping and then going. I'm not really sure what it's doing, but if you hear that, it like has a mind of its own right now. I'm just gonna blend a little bit here. I think I'm more just like, now I just feel like I'm in a bad mood because I'm frustrated because I'm like, I just wanna be really good at makeup or just like be more creative or visual. I'm just, just not though. I just feel like I'm not doing this palette like any justice or like being helpful. And that's something that I obviously enjoy is like being helpful. I got some fallout from that blue shade. So I'm just gonna try to 
dusted away without looking too sparkly. I'm gonna do a little bit more with the Charlotte powder just to try to make sure I'm not blue disco ball in my under eyes. I just added a little bit of liner. I used one from the e.l.f. and Jen Atkin collection. I'm gonna grab, this is a Refer 14 brush and I'm gonna just finish off the lower lash line. I'm just gonna mix the first two shades. My dryer just went off again. What is my dryer? You know, my mom was just here who loves cleaning by the way. Like I wonder if she changed the settings on the dryer or something. Cause I don't know if I've ever heard it do <laughs> go on and off so much. But also while I was doing my eyeliner, my phone was in the bathroom charging. So I checked it and it said I have a parcel pending, which means I ha we have like the, the lockers since I live in an apartment complex, we have the lockers. So when we get a package from like FedEx or UPS, they put these in the lockers and we get this parcel pending message. And I immediately was like, oh my gosh, my Beautylish Lucky Bag, but I checked the tracking and it still says it's hanging out with Tracy. So I'm like, hmm. It doesn't say who it's from. It doesn't say like FedEx or anything like that. It just says you have one. It might be that. I'm gonna run up once I'm done with this video. I'm gonna run up and see. Take Aries for a little W around the complex. Hopefully it's that, but I'm just not getting my hopes up too much because I don't know why the tracking wouldn't even have just like said delivered or anything, you know, but maybe it's something else fun. Maybe it's more, more new, more new makeup. Um, I actually think, do I want to do the pink? I'm just like not, I'm just like not feeling this. Um, I'm going to, I am going to add just a little bit of pink just to like tie in the look. A little bit of that pink to the lower lash line. I'm just going to use the same brush here and then since I went pretty smoky, I'm just going to use, like I just touch up my powder quite a bit. So I'm just going to come back into the Charlotte and just kind of touch up so it's not like too, like too much, you know? I'm going to do a little bit more blue, kind of like on the inner corner. So I'm just going to grab that same brush that I was using. I'm just going to tap some of the blue in here again, just kind of trying to go for something that I wouldn't normally do. And by like out of my comfort zone, I also mean like shades that I wouldn't normally use um, or like like looks, but also even techniques, which is I was trying to kind of trying to do something a little bit different here with like a different technique that I don't often do. And I wouldn't normally do like a blue inner corner. Like I would do more of that champagne shimmer, but the beauty about makeup is that, you know, you could just wash it off. It's just... It's harder for me since I'm like sitting down to film this and I like genuinely, I like to feel like I help people with my videos, but I just, I don't know if anyone's gonna actually wanna like copy this look, you know what I'm saying? And I have to go to the grocery store later. That's gonna be interesting. Actually not really. I, sometimes I forget that I live in Vegas now. Literally no one cares what you wear. They, I go everywhere in my slippers. No one gives me a second look, everywhere. In my slippers, no one cares. So I'm just gonna add my mascara. I also don't have a new mascara, so I'm just gonna use my one from Rare Beauty. My favorite mascara. Actually, before I do my mascara, I'm just gonna spray my face one more time. So mascara is on. Eyes are done. Um, you know, as I put the mascara on, I was like, mm, okay, maybe I don't, maybe I'm not as like unimpressed as I initially thought I was gonna be. I still don't know if it's gonna be like a favorite look of mine by any means. I don't dislike it as much as I thought I was going to. So, and also I need to put on the rest of my face. And sometimes I don't always love makeup looks until like the end. So let's keep going. So I did get the um, Rare Beauty bronzer stick. Maybe I should have done this before I did the powder foundation from ColourPop, but uh, I didn't. So we're just gonna use this now. From Rare Beauty, this is their Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. So Rare Beauty did send this in PR, which I was so excited about. Oh my gosh, Selena, coming to girls night. It's fantastic. So I chose out the shade Power Boost. So, looks like so. And then there is the bronzer. So this retails for $32. It says a breakthrough bronzing stick for a quick invisible sun kiss glow with smooth, seamless second skin finish. Just swipe on, blend, and, gl and glow. <laughs> and go. So normally I would do cream products before I set my face with the powder, but this will be a good, a good test for it. Can you apply this over? We'll see. I'll obviously use this multiple ways so I can actually review it, but oh that feels very silky smooth okay like i kind of wondered if it would be a little bit skippy over the powder but oh that feels nice all right so i'm just gonna add a little bit 
to the cheekbones and then also my forehead here and I'm gonna use my sponge to blend this out the shade looks like it will probably be a good match it almost looks a little bit light but we'll go ahead and blend that in I was really excited to try this. This was a product that I was actually going to buy and on my last Sephora haul that I placed uh, I had thought that these were already available. They were on the Sephora website but they weren't available yet and I was like oh man because I was 100% planning to buy this product but then I got it in PR. I was like oh my gosh I'm so excited. It came with like a Rare Beauty hoodie and everything like Rare Beauty and I have come a long way from the first uh times that I tried their products and I really didn't like them at all and now the Rare Beauty Mascara I just like keep buying it and keep recommending it and I think that I'm really gonna like this bronzer stick first impression first impression but wow that looks nice that was so easy to blend especially over the powder I feel like okay I okay I was thinking as I was sitting here and times progressing I was thinking about the ColourPop powder and I was like oh shoot now I don't know if I like it as much because I feel like my face just is starting to look a little bit flat. Like it's so matte on me. This almost has like a little bit of like a luminosity to it. A little bit of a sheen to it. <gasps> Ooh. I actually really like that. Super smooth. So easy to blend out. Even blends over the powder. First impression. I'm really impressed with that rare bronzer. Ooh. Ooh. That makes me excited. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Look at us, coming back, we're coming back. Um, so I'm gonna use, I think that's just what I'm gonna do for the bronzer. That's good, that's good. So then I'm gonna dip it back into the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton collection. And I'm gonna use the face palette. I'm just gonna mix together the two blush shades. I wish there was like a bronzer instead of two blushes and a highlight, but I'm just gonna mix the two together. That's what I did last time. And I thought that it made a pretty Effect. So I'm going to use a from Ruffer. This is the 24 brush. I'm just going to mix those pinks together. Ooh. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add that to the cheeks. I wanted to add a little bit more of that brighter pink shade too because I feel like it would kind of tie in with the eye look a little bit. I'm going to place that like pretty high on the cheekbones and kind of come out towards the temple. Not like fully to like blend it in. But again, I'm just I'm trying to do something a little bit outside my norm. So kind of more, not necessarily like an avant-garde look, but, or what was that called for a while? The draping, like the blush draping. It kind of gives me some Bridgerton vibes too, you know what I'm saying? All right, and then I'm also going to add the highlight. I have the Ruffer 18. The highlight, which I thought was really pretty to the cheekbones, like so. I'm going to do a little bit on my nose also. So there is the face palette from Pat McGrath. Like I said, I've been liking it. This is only the second time that I'm trying it, but... So far, I've been enjoying it. And then for my lip products, I have these new super cute products from Kaja Beauty. These are the Love Swipe Lipsticks. So I got these in PR and they came in this super cute little set like this. Okay, so I'm between I'm Melting and Sweet Softy. So let me go ahead and swatch these. This one is I'm Melting, which looks like so and the other one is in sweet softy we have sweet softy so i think i'm gonna go with i'm melting actually so let me grab a lip liner and apparently i also need to charge my battery so once again no this is gonna be a long video so first up i did line my lips with my pat mcgrath contour lip liner these retail for 18 dollars. it says it's a velvety air whipped lip mousse that is wrapped in a heart-shaped package for extra pout cloud you can see from the swatch that it looked a little bit more on the sheer side, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. Definitely feels very moussey. So this one is a little bit more mauve, like a deeper mauve. I'm going to add just a little bit more. It feels very lightweight in texture. It's smooth. I can still rub my lips together, at least right now I can. I like that shade though. I like that it's a little bit darker paired with this eye look. I like it. So we'll see how it wears, see how it feels throughout the day and all of that. But I thought that these were super cute. And I really, Kasha is a brand that's really impressing me lately. A lot of products from them I really, really enjoy. So when I got sent these, I definitely wanted to try them out ASAP. So after that, that is it for this makeup look. So here is the final look. 
using all of the hot new makeup releases that are out right now. In the end, I like the way that it all came together. So like I said, I definitely do like the NARS foundation. I've been trying that. I've been really impressed with it. The new e.l.f. primer, as of right now, I was enjoying that one. The, the ColourPop powder, I think I was more excited when I first tried it out, but as I've been sitting here and kind of examining myself, I don't know if I'm as hyped about it. I'm definitely going to try it out some more, you know, with some other foundations, with the brush and all of that. I might even actually go a shade darker if they sent me a shade darker. I might even go a shade darker into the mediums because I feel like maybe light is just a little bit, just like a shade too light for me. But we'll give it a shot. I just think that it's a little bit more drying than I want it to be. I do like the Pat McGrath face palette so far. I've been enjoying those products. The eyeshadow palette, you know, definitely I'll see if I have another reaction. Maybe it's just that red shade. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping the pink doesn't do it to me or any of the other shades. And I think once I've added my mascara and everything kind of came together in the lip color, I like that I look more than I originally was thinking that I did. But that blue shade is super pretty. I had no issues with the other shades. It was pretty easy for me to work with. So, so far with the two looks that I've done, I've really been enjoying that palette, just crossing my fingers um, that I don't have any more reactions to it. The lip shade, I'm enjoying that one also. And then I think that was the other new product. The Elf, um, or no, I'm sorry, the Rare Beauty Bronzer. Can't wait to keep using this. I'm very excited about this product right here. And then also the e.l.f. sponge. I thought this was a really nice sponge. I'm very particular about my sponges and I thought that that was a good one. So I'm happy about that. I feel like overall this was really successful. There wasn't anything that was like an out and out miss and some products that really were a standout to me. So this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it seeing this a trying new makeup. And I'm gonna go check and see what my parcel pending was and keeping my fingers crossed that it is my Beautylish Lucky Bag. But otherwise that video will be coming just as soon as I can get it up. But other than that, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video.